You're watching Round Roanoke, your source for what's happening in the Valley. I'm your host, Margaret Hunter Wade. Summer's about here, and that means it's time for Roanoke's favorite beach music dance party. With a new location on Jefferson Street, you're invited to come out every Thursday night to enjoy great bands, friends, food, and drink. Here with us now is Matthew Klepeis, Communications and Program Manager for Downtown Roanoke, Inc. Hey, how are hey, you? Thanks so, for having me. Let's start out. Um, this is one of the favorite events for Roanoke, so tell us what's in store for this year. Well, we've, uh, we've got a great lineup, a lot of excellent acts, uh, regional, national, as well as local favorites every Thursday in uh, the front side of Elmwood Park. Okay, so as you mentioned, front side of Elmwood Park, like many of our downtown events, we've got a little bit of a new venue. So tell us specifically what the front side means. Well, with the uh, renovations in Elmwood Park, we've decided to keep it located in Elmwood. It's actually at the corner of uh, Jefferson and Elm Avenue. Okay. Uh, it's right there on the front side by the main library. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got a lot of shade, some great hills for viewing. It's, uh, it's turned out to be an excellent location. Still room for a stage. Absolutely. We've got it right on the corner of Elm and Jefferson. And most importantly, is there still room for the shag dancing? Absolutely. Brand new dance floor. Um, it is custom constructed just for this event. It's state of the art. It's really, really wonderful. So all your longtime attendees will still find the same Absolutely. things that they've, they love about this. The same fun. So you talked about kind of um, a wide variety of acts that you have coming in. Can you just give us a little tasting of who some of those bands might be? Well, for opening night, we had nationally recognized act, the Swingin' Medallions, but we've also got coming up uh, the part-time party band, the holiday band, um, the Kings, so some familiar the Catalinas, names. absolutely, okay. as, as well as the Carolina Breakers straight out of Myrtle Beach. Oh, so. nice. Yay. Well, I know everybody looks forward to this event. And one of the really interesting things about it is that it's giving back to the community as well. So can you tell us how that partnership works and who in the end is going to benefit aside from all those people that love it? Well, we've got a great working relationship with uh, five organizations that will be benefiting this year. Uh, you've got Opera Roanoke, Virginia Amateur Sports, Big Brothers, Big Sisters, Junior Achievement, and Parrotheads? Parrotheads of the Blue Ridge, okay. absolutely. And, uh, and so all of those organizations have assigned nights that they'll be working, and then at the end of the year, they'll benefit. Okay, so um, that's the deal. They come in, help put it on, work right. a little bit, and then get some money in the end. Exactly. That's a pretty good deal. So, um, of course, that means that there is some money to be raised in this event. So that means there's likely an admission. So can you tell us what that looks like and, of course, how our viewers can get tickets so they can come enjoy it? Sure. Well, our admission is $5 per person or the any 10 for $45. Um, and you can purchase tickets either online or at participating BB&T locations. Okay. And uh, for those last minute people like me, can they buy them at the gate? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Good. And then um, an event like this is important for the Valley and it's also important for DRI. And can you talk a little bit about that so our guests can understand why coming out is more than just enjoying some good music on a Thursday night? Well, this is an event that's been going on for quite some time in the Roanoke Valley. It originally started out at Valley Point and it moved to downtown. That's right, many and, years uh, ago. Exactly, Easter Seals event. And so DRI was really uh, excited to be able to help move the event downtown and now to continue the event in downtown Roanoke. Okay, and of course the idea is, I know when you know I attend, downtown's packed afterwards and it's a great opportunity for people to go enjoy all of our great restaurants. Do any of the restaurants do promotions to get people to come enjoy those after they, you know, come hang out for a little while? Well, if uh, people want to come out, we'll actually have some discount cards specific to the event that they'll be able to go and try some of these restaurants with. Um, we just want to encourage people to come into downtown and see what we have to offer. Absolutely. It's a win-win for everybody. Now, that reminds me, this is a kind of an early evening event. Can you touch on the times? I'm not sure Absolutely. if we said that. It's every Thursday in downtown in Elmwood Park from uh, 5.30 p.m. until 8.30 p.m. Okay. Now, I'm curious about this discount card. You said we'll be able to get those at the event. Those will be passed out at the event at the admission table. Okay. Um, and that's very special to BB&T's party in Elmwood. Okay. Now, um, where can our viewers get more information about um, Party in Elmwood? downtownroanoke.org. Okay. We'll have all the information. Now, I know you've got some other events. We've got just a, another, you know, minute or so. Can you tell us about what else DRI has going on? Sure. 
uh, movies at the tower every mm -hmm. s the second Friday of every month okay. uh, through September. We've also got City Market Saturdays okay. going on every Saturday. Perfect. Uh, and so lots going on. You in guys downtown. are keeping us happy. Absolutely. Thank you, Matthew, for coming yeah, in. We thank really you. appreciate it. You can find out more about Party in Elmwood and other events happening in the Roanoke Valley coming up on the community calendar. I'm Margaret Hunter-Wade, and you're watching Round Roanoke on Cox 9. Thanks for tuning in.